Welcome everyone. We are about to see gauges in ClickView, which are most commonly used in ClickView dashboards. They represent a dimensionless expression. Across the enterprises, key performance indicators are represented in the gauge chart. Gauges are flexible and can encompass many different display options. Not just that, you can associate gauges with different actions and trigger different events. For example, clicking on gauge may open a pivot table or a straight table of related information. Let us see how you can create some of the meaningful gauges. We have a business requirement to find out the contribution of each of these product categories to the total net sales percentage of the company across the selected countries and the selected years. Our requirement could be sufficed by creating a gauge chart. So I can right click anywhere in the blank space and go to new sheet object, select chart from the list and select the gauge chart icon. If you want, you can show or hide the title in chart and click next. Since we use a dimensionless expression in our gauge charts, we would leave the dimensions window as it is and click on next. In the edit expression window, you can enter the expression to calculate the percentage of net sales, which is going to be sum of net sales divided by sum of total net sales. Click on OK. If you want, you can label the expression as percentage of net sales and click on Next. Leave the sort window as it is and click on Next. ClickView offers you multiple display styles for your gate chart. You can select from the available looks in whichever way you would want to represent your data. Not just that, you can change the orientation and the 3D view of your gate chart. However, this option is not available for all the chart types. For example, it's not available for the current look that I have selected. However, if I would select a different look, then the orientation window will get highlighted and I can change the orientation of my gate chart. Click on Next once you have selected the required look. And from the presentation window, you can change the scale, the gauge settings, the thickness of the cylinder, the angle span, the center angle, etc. However, if you want to leave the settings as it is, just check the auto width segments option and click on next. From the actions window, you can then add an action to trigger an event. In my case, I want that whenever someone clicks on the gate chart, my company's URL should launch. So I'll go to the external option, click on open URL, click OK, and enter the name of the URL over here, which is www.clickview.com. If you want, you can select open in same window checkbox and click on next. From the colors window, you can select multicolored option, persistent colors, or repeat the last color option for the display of your chart, and then click on next. From the Numbers window, you can change the format settings for the data that you're about to display. I'll change it to Fixed to 0, Show in Percent, and change the format pattern to Hash Hash dot Hash Hash, which is how I want my data to be represented, and click on Next. If you want, you can change the font style and the font size from the font window. You can change the layout settings and if required, change the shadow intensity to soft, intense, or medium. Click on Next, and from the Captions window, you can choose to show or hide the caption. When you click on Finish, your gate chart is represented, and when you click on that gate chart, it would launch your company's URL. Similarly, you can add multiple actions to your gate chart and trigger different events. Now, if I unlock my selection from here and select a specific product category, it will show me the percentage value related to that product category across the selected countries and the selected years. Since I have turned off the caption, I do not have any label for the gate chart, but I can always right click on the chart, go to the chart properties, and from the caption window, enable show caption and aligned to the center. There you go. So now my requirement has been met and I can now calculate the contribution of each of these product categories to the total of the net sales percentage. Hope this video was helpful to all of you and you were able to gain insights into the tool. Thank you.